What's up everybody, I'm Lockouts, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get the lowest latency, optimize your packets, fix all your network connection, whether or not you're on Wi-Fi or on you know, wired connection, whether or not you have AMD or Intel, it really doesn't matter. I'm gonna show you how to get the best network connection that you possibly can get, no matter what you, where you live at. Check this out. Won't you do a favor for me? Take your mouse and click the button. Won't you subscribe to me? Lockouts providing the content that you see. I'm visually stimulating your mind one minute at a time. All right, guys. So the very first thing that you're going to do is you are going to go down into where your search bar is, and you're going to type in E D I T P O W E R. Edit power. When you get when you type that in, you're going to get a little green power plug that pops up like this. You're going to click that. When you get that. Uh, after you click that, you're going to get this box that pops up, and then you're going to hopefully be on Ultimate Power or High Performance Power Plant. If you guys don't have Ultimate Performance enabled and you guys want to know how to do that, make sure that you check the video out that's going to be after this one, how to optimize Windows 10 for gaming, and it's going to be the best video that you'll probably ever watch and the best performance your computer will ever be in. All right, with that being said, uh, you're going to click on the change advanced power settings. When you click that one right there, you're going to then go down to where it says wireless adapter settings. This is for anybody that's playing on desktop or anybody that has uh, um, a laptop and they're playing on Wi-Fi for whatever reason. Does not matter, I don't knock you. So what you're gonna do is click on the setting right here and you're going to click on maximum performance. Make sure that you do not click maximum power saving. You do click the maximum performance. After you click on that one, the next one that you're going to click on is going to be PCI Express and you're going to make sure that that one is off and then you're going to click apply and you're going to click okay. After you do that, you can close that out. The very next thing that you're going to do after that is going to be down where uh, on the right hand side, if you see where my mouse is, I have this cut off so that you guys can't see this part of my desktop, but you're going to click on your network options and then you're going to open network settings, okay? It's going to look like this right here. What you're going to do is go down here to where it says change adapter options, okay? Click on this one. When you do that, this box pops up that looks like this, and then you're going, guys are going to right click on this right here and then click on properties. When you guys click on properties, you guys are going to go to internet protocol version 4 TCP IPv4. You're going to then click the properties tab. This is where you're going to set your DNS. You could use Google's, I personally use Cloudflare. I like it, it seems to be more consistent and stable and I get better pings with Cloudflare. So I recommend using 1.1.1.1 and then for the alternate, you put in 1.0.0.1. And then you're going to click on the advanced tab here and you're going to make sure that the check mark for automatic metric is selected. Click OK, then click OK, and then click Close. And then you can close that out right there. The very next thing that you guys are going to do is you're going to go down into the links right there for the description that I have, and you guys are going to get a program right here that is called TCP Optimizer, okay? And when you guys get it and you download it, it looks like this. And for whatever reason, my link is uh, disabled and they send you to uh, buy this program here. Don't do that, just Google it, all right? TCP Optimizer is free. So you're going to right click on it when you download it and install it. And then you're going to run it as an administer. When you run it as, as an admin, it's going to pop up and it's going to look just like this. Let's let it load up here for a second. The very first thing that you guys are going to do when, or notice when you open this up is that there are tabs right here at the top. You're going to click on the MTU and latency one, all right? When you guys click on this, you're going to use speedguide.net because this is speedguide.net's program. It's going to work best with them. And for whatever reason, for whatever country or like I said, region that you are in, Go ahead and open up the edit button right here. Click the edit button. It's going to open up another little tab right here and you can edit and modify whatever website that you want to ping right here. So you could put in Google or whatever it is if these ones here are not working for you. For everybody else though, go ahead and select speedguide.net. Pings per URL, three, packet size, 32. All right, you're going to then click largest MTU and it's going to say set this to 1500 in order to get the correct result. Would you like to continue? Now, with that being said we're going to say this all right this computer right here talks to my home router this is my home router i have an ac ac 2600 
the 2640, I just got this from Best Buy not too long ago, okay? And this is uh, helps me combat in buffer bloat, which means that my router gets overloaded with buffer bloat with packets that are going in it. Even though it says I have real low jitter, awesome ping, and all this other great stuff, your router still has buffer bloat. And you guys are going to test that after we do all this, and I'll show you guys how to set your, your router settings for your QoS. All right, now with that being said, no matter what router it is, guys have all right guys so if you have a little cheap router that's like this if you have uh, a fancy one that's like this or even a you know a, a, a like a, a net duma router it's even fancier than this one and i really like to have one of those <coughs> net duma or you know d-link send me send me something that 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 uh that, that they that yeah just yeah there we go <laughs> anyway so here you go um all routers guys are set to 1500 for a packet size for mtu okay and no matter what even though i'm on fiber op on a one gig connection all right or uh on a 300 megabyte connection i i that's what i have but it could go up to one gig i can get a one gig connection and that's not going to lower your latency for having more download speed all right that's that's just going to increase the amount of bandwidth that you have that's available so if you have multiple smart tvs running in 4k lots of wi-fi devices and your gaming stuff hooked up having more download speed to spread around through your system is awesome okay it won't bottleneck and, and overload everything unfortunately your router has all that traffic that it has to deal with okay and that's going to deal with buffer bloat and then it queues packets Buffer bloat deals with queued packets, okay? And what I'm talking about here is the packet size that this computer right here fires off to this router, 1500. My home router can only handle 1312, no matter what, okay? Because of my internet connection and the way that everything's set up. My packet size is 1312 before they become fragmented, which means that when packet number two comes in behind this one, okay? This one's like, hey, there's 1,312. That means that I have this much room open on this packet right here. Packet number two is like, hey, all right, well, here's my information. I'll fill that up. And then by the time packet number two splits it and fragments it and sends it to here, well, now packet number two has all this other fragmented information here. Well, it's time for packet number two to go. It's got to go too with fragmented information. Now, packet number three comes through and the cycle continues and continues and continues, okay? So, setting your MTU accordingly is going to help you optimize all of your network connections. And what this does is whatever packet goes to here is optimized to 1312. And then this router right here will fire it off to my ISP. And then my ISP connects me to whatever server it is that I am trying to connect to for Apex Legends, World of Warcraft, Call of Duty. Or night, etc., etc., etc. Ting. So you know, it does not really matter. You guys want to optimize your packet size so that everything's in one non-fragmented packet. All right, and we're gonna do that right here with the the next result of TCP optimizer. All right, so TCP optimizer. It's going to say, please set your max MTU to 1500 in order to get the correct correct result. Would you guys like to continue? You're going to say yes. It's going to ping. This is what it's going to say. You guys are going to see that it is fragmenting what you guys have set right now, okay? No matter what, if you guys do not have anything fragmented and it says, please set your MTU to 1500 right here, then you guys have perfect, beautiful internet. You don't have to worry about doing any of this. You can just leave your stuff as is and your, your packets are being sent in 1500 at the normal stock standard size, okay? So I suggest doing this three to five times so that you get a consistent result. This is my second ping right here. You can see again, it says I have fragmented packets, la da 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 da. You can set your MTU to 1312. I'll ping it for the third time. We'll do it again, la da 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 da. And it still says 1312. So we know that that is stable, consistent. That is the packet size before it'll start to fragment. What we do then is come over to this tab that says general settings. You're going to click the custom button. You're going to go to MTU. You're going to enter whatever it is for your MTU size that you have that you just benchmarked right there. Insert that there. Make sure you click this slider right here at the top, guys. Slide that all the way over to the right side. All right, and you'll see that right there. It says 100 megabytes plus. Make sure it's all the way over to the right. Make sure that you uh, have these same settings that I have right here, and we'll run through this real fast so that we make this super duper quick and easy. Normal, disabled, cubic, enabled, disabled, blank, disabled, 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 disabled. The next thing you're going to do is click the advanced tab right here. Select that. The very first one, we'll just run through this again, guys. 10, 10, 4, 5, 
six, seven, four, disabled, 2,300, zero, default, NA, disabled, FFFFFFF, gaming, zero, disabled, one, default, NA, disabled, zero, enabled, one, optimized, three, Max user port, 65, 534, and then 30 seconds for your TCP time to wait delay. And you guys are going to click apply changes. When you guys click apply changes, it's going to get this box that pops up and looks like this. This is going to insert registry keys inside of your computer so that your network is then optimized and allocated. I'm not gonna do this because my stuff's already done. You guys go ahead and do that. All right, so the very next thing that we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna go and test for buffer bloat that's within our routers. And this right here is going to see where, whether or not we have buffer bloat that's in our routers and is our is our packets getting sent out in a timely fashion or are they getting mixed up in a mumble jumble for the cuteness and we're not actually, you know, so if you're, let's put it like this. If you feel like you're shooting at somebody and you should have had the shot before they had the shot on you, you probably have buffer bloat, even though you're, it, when you ping yourself, it's saying, yeah, dude, you got real low jitter. Yeah, bro, your latency is real low. Your MS is this. Your download speed is this. Your uploads this. It's really good. Well, your router still has to queue packets. And what we're doing is optimizing everything on our home end so that it goes through nice and fluidly and, and, and proficiently. And how you guys do that is go right over here to uh you open up uh, a nice new browser tab when you guys open up the browser tab you guys are going to type in dslr or dsl reports okay and then it's going to be forward slash speed test so dslr reports.com forward slash speed test okay when you guys do that it's going to bring you to this web page right here and it looks just like this all right after you guys get here, whatever you have, if you have cable, DSL, satellite, whatever it is, you should have more options here. I have fiber internet and, okay, and I'm gonna click this and I already have my QoS, so my download speeds are going to be, you know, different from what I actually can download. Uh, this is just showing, I'm showing you what, what it looks like to pass and what a good grade looks like. So it's pinging right now. These are going to be my upload and download speeds and this is because my gaming router now, before I bought this router on my regular shitty OEM router, it I, I would get Fs across the board and it would fail and fail and fail and fail and fail and fail. And I was like, dude, why 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 is my internet connection saying that I'm having all this awesome shit, but yet I'm still failing in all the games when I know that I could be succeeding? Now, what you're doing here is you're trading bandwidth, less download speed on your gaming rig, to be prioritized in your QoS in your router, whether it's your home router or your gaming router or aftermarket or standard router, um, you're gonna try to find your QoS settings and you're gonna enable them and then you're gonna get results that look like this, guys. A's all the way across the board. I would fail and fail and fail and fail and I would fail and I would fail and I would fail. And now I got this gaming router and after doing that and setting up my QoS and setting up everything correctly, wow, dude, look at this. And then I took this test and this benchmark and I went from this that test and that benchmark right there to real world application. Like, all right, I'm gonna go test this in Fortnite and testing it in Call of Duty. And I my main shooter game that I play is Apex Legends. You guys can check me out over there on Twitch. This video is not sponsored by anybody. It's sponsored by my Twitch. Go over to twitch.tv forward slash lockouts with a Z. That's me, you'll see my face and we could type back and forth and. Maybe we'll play some games together or whatever. I run with anybody. I'm, I'm down to, uh, you know, always get better and play with better players or less players that are worse than me and we'll all play and die together. Who cares? It's all about having fun. That's what this is all about, right? So when I got this router, man, it really made a difference instantly and it was instant. There's no reason for us to have all of this, this stuff like this and then our bottleneck is a shitty little router that we have connected to that was given to us from our ISP. In the end, dude, you might have to go and spend you a couple of bucks to get you a decent router. So, you know, the one that I have is the D-Link AC2600. It serves the purpose and you end up getting results. 
that look like this, all right? And I'm gonna block some of this out so that you guys can't see it, okay? All right, so logging into my router, this is what it looks like on the inside right here, okay? I have all this blocked out because this is personal information that is down here, and you guys don't need that. There's no reason for you to see it. The only thing that I'm showing you is the QoS engine that's here, okay? As you can see, there's all these clients that are connected right here. Here's my internet, here's how everything is. This is my gaming router. Seven things on Wi-Fi, no USB that's connected to it, no U no extenders, no no nothing like that. Here's my mesh network right here, okay? Mesh means that it, it merges 2.4 and 5 gigahertz together for Wi-Fi, so that you get better Wi-Fi stuff. Anyways, going back to QoS, QoS engine right here, I can benchmark my computer right here, and then you want to set this about 50 megabytes lower than whatever it is you have for your max internet speed i actually have about 340 or something like that for a download and about 280 for an upload but i don't need all that but 200 is fine and then the rest of it goes to anybody else that would be connected to the router or for wi-fi there's plenty of bandwidth left over for everybody else now i'm not going to show you guys anything that's anything else that's in here <clears throat> i'm going to go ahead and set this up right here now down below there's going to be little tabs that pop up that's in my router okay and you can see it looks just like this this tab looks like this and i'll block out this ip address but this tab looks like this and okay it's right here this is this tab right here and it looks like this so i could take this tab and then i could go down into my qos service and i drag it down here and it can either be this is high this tab this slot right here is for highest this one is for high, this one is for medium, and then I have low, and then lowest priority would be over here if I would just keep continuing to click these, these arrows and stuff right here, okay? And what that does, guys, is it prioritizes, it manages by device, and then it sets my internet speed, and it sends out that amount of bandwidth, and it limits them, and adjust everything accordingly. So if anybody that I don't have that's set in this, so I could pull like this, I could pull like these cards out if I wanted to, okay? I don't have to have these cards that are in here, basically is what I'm saying. And I could pull cards that are like this, it's out like I'm showing you the tops of them, but I'm trying not to show you my personal information. I could pull them out, put them back in here, and the leftover megabytes of information will go to them Wi-Fi devices, or I could put them in here into my network allocation of 200, and whatever I don't use for my highest priority slot here, my next one for high, and then for medium over here, and then, you know, it goes so on and so on as you would cycle, right? Um, whatever I don't use, it'll be allocated into this, and that's how you end up getting the... Uh, pass marks that I get for DSLR reports right now so that I don't get bloat within my routers. And this is gonna be for whether you have, you know, a shitty little cheap one, a good one, just try to enable your QoS and set your network priority, guys, so that you can optimize all of your packets and do all the stuff that you wanna do and get the lowest amount of latency that you possibly can get, whether or not you're on wireless or on Wi-Fi, however it is. If you guys are on wireless, make sure that you try to get as close to the router that you're gaming to or connected to so that you get the lowest amount of latency at all times. If this has helped any of you guys out, make sure you, you know, help me out, click all the little buttons right there. I'm Lockouts, peace. Won't you do a favor for me? Take your mouse and click the button. Won't you subscribe to me? Doc out for buying the content that you see. I'm visually stimulating your mind one minute at a time.